Greetings once again, adventurers. Dues Diz Din back again with more Eden Zero. Previously, the journey to Universe Zero was a success, a universe that essentially retells the origin of our story, with Rebecca and Shiki yet again meeting for the first time. But thankfully, after spending a little bit of time together, they realized that something was pulling them together, a kind of gravity of friendship as it were, and as they got closer and closer to each other, they realized who they were to each other. Their memories fell into them like gravity. In any other situation, I'd say that's absurd and silly, but we've seen it so many times into, in this series that it's just like, yeah, no, gravity pulling memories into you, gravitational pull of friendship, yeah, it tracks. And so Shiki and Rebecca are essentially playing New Game Plus. They know all the little details and everything in order to make their adventure maybe as smooth as possible? I'm not really sure how this will work. Will the gravity of destiny essentially pull them into the exact same event? Or will things be different this time around? Maybe a few more lives saved along the way? Who knows? I'm eager to find out. So join me. Won't you? Alright. Uh, cute and sexy picture of Rebecca, as always, in her classic outfit. Chapter 222, A Happy World. Hmm, that's optimistic. Or are we talking about, like, Happy the Cat Happy World? Are we gonna visit the homeland of the Exe? That would be weird. Ah, uh, now she, he's got his fresh dew again. It's weird seeing a young Shiki after all this time. Well, outside of the anime, which I've been re-watching recently. Well, watching for the first time recently, I mean. <laughs> now, Shiki has a haircut and says, this feels kind of weird. Oh, I don't mean my hair. Uh, Rebecca says, I know. My memories from this world and the last are all jumbled up. Wait, what? Happy says, back in the old world, I was a bot. And Rebecca says, yeah, you were my weapon. He's not a robot here? So did he never get in the car crash? Okay, m maybe because Rebecca knew it was going to happen. Because of the nature of things, she was able to avoid that? Huh. I don't know how to feel about that. On the one hand, it made him different from the Happy from Fairy Tale, and a good weapon for Rebecca to use. On the other hand, Rebecca hasn't really used Happy as a weapon in a good while. In fact, when was the last time Rebecca used Happy as the blasters? Let me know in the comments if you remember. But Shiki questions this and says, So you're not a bot in this world? Happy says, "I." And as Happy pulls on his face, he says, I'm flesh and blood. Shiki is shocked, saying, whoa, things can be that different in this world? I know. It's funny, too, because we made the references just like, oh, Happy might not exist in this world before they came. But it's just like, I mean, technically, the Happy Shiki was familiar with doesn't exist? But then, did Rebecca still meet Professor Wise? Interesting. I mean, there were a lot of situational things. Things that led them to meeting Professor Wise, and that was, well, happy dying. Huh. Rebecca says excitedly, It's Universe Zero. We've reached the final world. Shiki's also excited, saying, Yeah, now we'll get the gang together and go find Mother. Rebecca says, I can't use Cat Leaper in this world. We don't get any more do overs. Yeah, I mean. Rebecca's kind of been depowered a lot. I mean, well, then again, she should have the power of her ether gear still. She just can't. I mean, can she not do any form of rewind? I mean, maybe Cat Leaper will just use, give her the speed boost in this world? Because I, I mean, at the very least, that would be useful. But Cheeky just smiles, saying, That's okay. I'm sure it will all work out. I mean, you have all these memories, at the very least. That gives you a bit of an edge over some of these enemies. <laughs> the, the robots in the bar are saying, I have no idea what they're talking about. It seems like they've been friends for a while, I guess. And Michael says, what, what's going on? <laughs> they're so out of the loop. It's unfortunate. Cheeky then tells Michael, Michael, I'm going to see the Castalen. Michael says, what? <laughs> Is he going to confront the king about what's about to happen? The king says, what are you doing here, Shiki? I told you never to come here. Oh, I didn't realize the king's name was Castalen. Shiki says, it's okay, you can drop the axe, sir, Castalen. I'm leaving Granbell. This shocks the king. Shiki smiles and says, you remember, 
You promised Grandpa you'd send me out into space, so you... Sir Castalin nervously says, I'm not following. Shiki says, the planet's ether is running out, and you don't want me to be alone, so you... Castalin says, what are you talking about? This planet has an abundance of ether. We're set to last another thousand years at least. Yeah, huh. Shiki is shocked by this. As Castalin says, now, if only we could get some guests, I... Shiki is sh says an abundance of ether michael says yes thanks to the demon king ziggy a long time ago he made a device that recycles it and our planet has more ether than ever before huh that's odd what is the nature of ziggy in this universe then shiki says grandpa rebecca says looks like things are going going differently on grand bell too happy says aye so is this a universe where the Best outcomes all happen? Huh. Castellan says, never mind that. You say you're leaving. Shiki says, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess he's kind of nervous because it's just like, okay, yeah, it's, uh, I, I thought I knew everything that was going to happen, but this guy threw me for a loop, man. Castellan says, the Demon King knew you would say that to me one day, and so he left me something to give you. Come with me. Huh. So we pick up in the square of the castle or the town the, the robot townspeople says say what's all the ruckus Shiki says he's leaving grand bell now we get to see what the demon king left for him wait did he leave the eden zero in grand bell then or is it something else castellan tells the town people step back all of you vacate the plaza so I'm, I'm still kind of thrown because in some situations it said that grand bell was a tourist spot for a good long time and others it Fell into disrepair because it ran, the whole populace ran out of ether. But here, there's a recycled ether drive? Huh. Okay, we see, uh, I guess a hangar, maybe? In the plaza, just opening up. Oh, it is! Ah, nice! Shiki is shocked and Rebecca says, the ground is opening up. And you see, coming from the depths of the plaza, a familiar figure. As our heroes look on in shock and the people cheer with excitement. Shiki gets a good look at what's rising up, saying, No way. Is that? Castalan says, The jet black wings to soar across the cosmos. The Demon King's warship. The Eden's Zero. Again, what we know makes me wonder, what is the nature of all this in this universe? This is so wild, though. Things are the same, yet so different. Shiki, Rebecca... Happy, Michael, the townspeople, they all look on in joy and excitement. Shiki then tells the townspeople, Castalan and Michael, Thank you guys, seriously. Thanks you for everything. I promise once I've, I'm done, what I'm setting out to do, I'll be back. The townspeople say, Don't be so dramatic. It's not like this is goodbye forever. A boy setting out on a journey is a major life event tell everybody in space to come to my tavern castellan says go carry out the demon king's wishes and michael says something i wasn't expecting i don't suppose i could come with you huh would the journey have been more interesting with michael along uh, maybe not but shiki tells him michael i appreciate the thought but it's gonna be dangerous wait for me here i promise i'll be back michael says okay now shiki hugs him he says you were all my friends thanks for being here for me i was never alone i mean it Thank you. And so, the Eden Zero sets off for the stars. And Shiki gives one final farewell to Grand Bell, saying, Michael, Mithra, John, Annie, all of you, Sir Castalan, Grandpa, it's time for me to go. So we set out into the Sakura Cosmos. All right. And with Rebecca at the control, she says, being on this ship, it's like I'm finally back, but also like I never left. Happy says, yeah, it's still kind of weird. Shiki says, this world isn't like the ones we were in before. I feel like this world exists to make sure we can all be happy. Rebecca smiles and Happy asks, what do we do now? Shiki tells him, we get the crew back together. First, we... Find Wise, regarding the Norma. But what about Witch? Isn't she here? Like, that would have been the first thing I addressed. It's just like, um, what about Witch? She should be, like, in the Eden Zero? Wasn't she? I mean, she can go sit on the throne. Wake up, Witch. Do it. Do it, damn it. Happy says, Wise will remember the old world when he sees us, right? Like we all did? And Shiki asks, wait a minute. If Happy didn't get in that accident, does that mean you never met Professor Wise? Thank you! The immediate question I had, I'm like, wait a minute! But Rebecca says, no, 
We met him for a different reason. We have the same relationship as last time. Oh, I mean, look. In time travel, sometimes destiny is just a thing. It's just like, for one reason you didn't meet a person, but you met them for a completely different other reason. Rebecca smiles and says, I guess you could say history has a way of repeating it, repairing itself. This world is different, but it's like we're following the same basic history as before. Yes, for some continuities of time travel stories, it's like, history has a way of kind of, well, like she said, repairing itself. Like, they're just... Fixed point. Rebecca and Happy will always meet. They'll always meet wise. They'll always go to Grand Bell and meet Cheeky. The reasoning behind it or the circumstances might be a little different, but the broad strokes are always the same. Cheeky smiles and says, I don't really get it. Anyway, we're gonna find our friend, and we're going to see your mom, Rebecca. And after we see her, we're gonna know how to get to Mother. We're gonna find Mother. That's how we're going to save her and the universe. Happy says this is turning into a real epic journey. And as Shiki sits in one of the chairs, he says, If anyone can do it, we can. But as he sits, his ether activate. And the system says, Activating Protocol A7. Executing chain of command transfer procedure. Protocol A7 complete. Welcome home, great demon king. And as a familiar door opens, we hear a very familiar voice saying, I am the one in charge. I am the one charged with the maintenance of this ship. I am which of the demon king's four shining stars. Ugh, this is gonna get me. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm like... I know it's such a cop-out, but at the same time, it's just like, I'm, I'm actually getting, like, a little emotional. <laughs> like, cheeky, happy Rebecca all well up with tears as they remember all the time they spent with Wit. And Shiki tells her, Wit? She says, yeah, I'm an android built by the great demon king Ziggy. A rights to command me, but... She stopped as she suddenly hugged by Shiki and Rebecca. As uh, Shiki says, Witch, it's you! Rebecca says, you're back, naturally leaving her very confused. And she says, uh, if I may ask, what is going on? And Shiki, smiling with tears in his eyes, says, I hereby order you, never die again. See, the thing is, most people would see this as a cop-out, but that sacrifice still happened. Which died, not to mention, which didn't travel with them from the other universe. So there's no guarantee she's going to have any of those memories, those experiences, anything. I mean, she might, maybe, by some chance, you know, Mashima will be like, eh, just give her the memories, it's fine. But I'm kind of operating under the idea that only those who traveled from the other universe using the code 3173 have their memory. And since Witch died, she gets none of that. Which would leave this very bittersweet, honestly. So I'm curious, what do you think? Will Ri Witch regain her memory? Or will this be a, honestly, maybe a new witch? Uh, like, it's shaky to say that, because I feel like Witch will always be Witch. But a lot of those experiences they went through, I don't know. See, it feels so weird watching the Eden Zero anime where I just, and I just recently got to this point too, where they have met Witch. And I didn't plan for any of this. I didn't plan for any of this. But it's like, recently they met Witch and it's just like, oh, that's so cute. Getting to see them meet Witch for the first time. And now I'm seeing this, I'm like, this is... This is kind of surreal, but it's like it was like I was saying. I mean, this is where they met Witch. She stays on the Eden Zero. But the question now becomes: What will the nature of everyone else's experiences be? I mean, will they find Hamra still with Valkyrie and get both of them, two for the price of one? Hamra still will have her memories, but Valkyrie will know nothing about a world in which she died. I mean, the sheer fact that Ziggy still exists. I mean. <sighs> He would have to, he has to raise Shiki, but at the same time, it's like, does he still become the enemy, ultimately? I mean, this is establishing that things have to happen. There are fixed points, fixed meetings for Shiki that he has to have, but some of the details, the nature of some of them, are completely different. Honestly, that alone makes me incredibly curious where this is all going. So I want to hear from you. Are you okay with the idea of this being a world where things kind of work out. I mean, because we already had this concept from since the whole Drak and Joe thing. 
and maybe even before that, timelines were, no, Shiki died there. <laughs> like, he died, and he got the memories from that timeline. It's just like, oh, that's the bad end. Not to mention, will Shiki be able to overcome the point where Witch died? Maybe avert that point? Will they be more capable in this timeline? Like, there's so many questions now of just how much easier this will all be, how many more changes there'll be that maybe throw our heroes for a loop? Will all the changes be positive, or will some of them be negative? I don't know, and I'm very interested to find out. But again, I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts. Also remember to subscribe, that way you don't miss out on the next reaction to Eden Zero. But until then, I've been Deuce Diz Zin, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye